Hi, my name is Logan Gerald, Regional HR Business Partner for Aprio, supporting the Carolinas. I attended Appalachian State University for undergrad and completed my Master's in Human Resources Management at Western Carolina University. The soft skills example I'm going to speak on is teamwork. Teamwork skills are vital to be successful in the classroom and workplace alike. While technical skills are of great importance, being able to mesh with those on your project teams is even more integral. In order to be the best team player, first of all, you have to understand the work styles and communication styles of your teammates. Then you need to identify how your work and communication style fits into the puzzle. Open communication with your team about your strengths and preferred communication methods are a great first step. This can allow your teammates to open up and reveal the same information about themselves. Once these factors are identified, the team can create a responsibility framework that allows individuals to play off their strengths. Let's recap the three core concepts of being a great team player. One, understand the work and communication styles of your teammates. Two, identify how your work and communication style fits into the puzzle. And three, the team creates a responsibility framework based on individual strengths. Here's an example of teamwork using the mentioned strategy. So let's say Rachel, Nicole, and I have been signed a project to create a new SLP presentation to share on campus in the fall. In the initial group meeting, I could let them know that I work best when I can focus on influencing others through my work and that I prefer to knock out my piece of the project then come together to review a first draft. Rachel could say that she works best when she can focus in on details and not leaving any stones unturned and that she prefers a collaborative approach to team projects. Nicole could say that she works best when she can lead conversation and prefers direct feedback from teammates on needs to move the project forward as we're working through the task. So after understanding a bit more about the individuals in the team, we can identify how we can all be successful in moving the project forward and assign specific tasks within the project to play off each team member's strengths. Looking at the task at hand, we can then create a responsibility framework based on the strengths. Logan could be best suited to put together the bones of the presentation and highlight key topics by researching industry best practices and trends. The team could agree to review Logan's piece after one, meet, one week, then make changes as needed. Nicole could lead the weekly team touch base meetings to make sure everything is on track and be best suited to deliver the bulk of the presentation at our upcoming events. Rachel could be best fit and focus in on details of both Nicole and Logan's pieces of the project, making sure Logan's research has included the proper details and nothing has been overlooked. Also, assisting Nicole with presentation talking points and making sure multimedia and other visuals are adequate to meet the needs of the project. Having the team members focusing in on tasks that best suit their strengths can lead to an exceptional presentation. Please remember there's no I in team. We can accomplish so much more working together than trying to achieve things on our own. Mr. Goodman. What makes you think you're qualified for this job? Oh! Ah! Don't punch him, man! Punch him Please, sir, no! Ah! Oh! 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 Huh? Get it? Yeah. 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 Y